Hey Temple fans, welcome to Owl Outlook. I'm your host, Fran Duffy, and today marks the last day of two days for the Temple Owls here in training camp. They ended the day with a special teams combination practice, so we're going to focus on special teams here on Owl Outlook today. We're going to have clips from practice, but first, we're going to go to a sideline report with our very own Scott Harcorn with Owl's sophomore defensive back, Kevin Crowboth. Scotty, take it away. Thank you, Fran. I'm sitting here now with defensive back Kevin Crowboth. And Kevin, how's camp going for you so far? I mean, it's going well. Today was the last day. As everybody knows, you can see how excited we were. But, I mean, it was a tough camp, but that's what it is. We got to get better. We worked hard every day, and we just kept working on our toolbox. And I think this season, everybody got better at each level, just not like, like the physical level, but our meetings, everybody was engaged, and the mental part's really high now. What specifically this summer have you worked on to get better for the year? Um, we were here summer one and two taking classes, but every day we lifted and worked out. And our DBs, we got really close. Every day we'd come out here for like an hour, and just work on our footwork, and just going over the calls so we don't even have to think. We just know where people are going to be, and I think it's going to help a lot out this year. What did it mean to you to win the 2008 Special Teams MVP? I mean... I was shocked when I first won it. I just was a freshman coming in first game. I only played one special teams, and then I just kept working hard and hard. And I knew that was the only chance I was going to get on the field because we had so many great defensive players. So as the season grew, I worked my way onto every special teams, and I guess at the end of the season, somehow I won it. So I just got to thank coaches for giving me a chance to get that award. Is there, is there any, any young guys that have stood out to you this, this year in camp? I mean, a lot of the young guys, just, I, I, I can't name names because all the young kids know. We, we uh, tell them every day that special teams is how they get on the field right away because it's hard to get on the field as a freshman to play offense or defense because we got seniors, juniors that are so good and talented that they've been here so they know the system. So the way to get on the field is through special teams. And I think the freshmen get that now. And all of them have been working hard, so we'll see how it goes. How important are special teams for, for you guys? I mean, it wins and loses games, as you saw last year. We worked really hard this summer and throughout training camp. I mean, it changes field position. It, it can win or lose a game. I mean, it's one-third of the game, so it, it's very important to us. Okay. All right, thanks a lot for your time, Kevin. That was Al's defensive back, Kevin Kroboff, and now we're going to take a look at practice. This is going to be a good game. Villanova and Temple are getting ready to start a new tradition. Temple and Villanova in the inaugural Mayor's Cup. Or Mayor's Cup. Mayor's Cup. We'll get ready for the Philadelphia Mayor's Cup. In the very first Mayor's Cup. On Thursday, September 3rd at Lincoln Financial Field. I, I, I just hope the atmosphere is great. And I hope the Villanova and Temple people come out. Because it's a, it's a game the city deserves. It's a game both universities mm -hmm. deserve. And it's going to be fun here in Philly. Let's go! 